Hello Straders, welcome to the Pooper Gauntlet brought to you by mtgotickets.com, the place to buy and sell tickets. Uh, we're in round 5 and I am playing Goblins. Just realized that Goblins doesn't have a sideboard plan. You can find any deck in the Pooper Gauntlet by just reading the show notes. There is a link to all the deck lists. And that article with all the deck lists also has a little competition where some decks are not taken yet. Okay, I'm gonna play against Belcher Mage. Hi Belcher Mage, good luck. Let's play some goblins, we have 35, oh, thank you. Okay. Rewubis.net. I wonder what that is. I hope it isn't a virus. Shout out to Belcher Mage. Okay, we are going up against Mono Black Control. That's interesting. So let's kill Mono Black Control as quickly as we can. Haste, haste. Bushwalker. Okay, Foundry Street, Denison, Mogwar Marshall. Play these guys, Bushwalk. Leave him dead. The chance that Foundry Street, Denison will survive is, of course, very small. We got to check for uh, Forge Devil targets. But most uh, Mono Black Control deck don't have them. Here are the Witches. But they are going to have to work overtime. Overtime witches. How do I deal with witches? I just overload them, I think. And I got to smash Foundry Street Denison into the witches. As it can get past. Which is seem like a pretty big problem. I have four lightning bolts. And he didn't want to block. I choose you. Main face tap the witches. Maybe he has another witch. A rager. Okay, I'm not gonna play pay upkeep here. I'm just gonna play another. Yeah, we can't let them get to um, uh, the big guy. Grey Merchant. Not gonna pay. Just get as much stuff out. We need to draw another mountain. <laughs> You will not be able to. Okay, Jackal Familiar seems like a pretty good play here. As it actually survives. And Cohort must be better. And now he has to pay for tapping out uh, the witches. The interesting question is when is the right time to do the bushwalker thing? Bushwhacker! I've Power T gave me a course on how to pronounce it. Uh oh, the grey merchant is gonna be enormous!
And Jagal Boop. Jagal Boop is dead. It's in the Obliet. We don't remember Jagal Poop. Where did Jagal Poop go? Who? And he does it again. So now I really need to draw land, but I could go Foundry Street, Denison, Bushwhacker. And I'm gonna hit him for... What? Okay, now he's being way too aggressive. This must mean that he just has uh, the Grey Merchant ready. So I think we are screwed. But let's go out with the, in the blaze of glory. This of course means nothing when uh, the Grey Merchant hits now. Four, seven. <laughs> Ouch. Mm, flaring pain doesn't stop that. And Sprinting War Brute really doesn't either. And we are at nine. He's still taking risks. But my ammunition is all gone. So do I do three damage here? Yeah, I can't. I can't go on the defensive. There is no chance in hell. So I just have to play out my cards and swing with the team. But I think I have failed. If it doesn't have a second Grey Merchant. No, I don't know how to win here. Seems really hard. I could get him into Bolt range. Oh. Ouch. Second Grey Merchant is doomed for the goblins. One one, right? Or was that the first? That was the first one. God, I can't remember. Oh, it was the first one. But didn't I just sideboard? I am getting confused. But I don't think I need anything from the sideboard. I kind of wish there was a sideboard plan. So these are all things that happen in the first duels. It's still the first duel. All right, let's do this. Play first, yes. <sighs> Keep. Oh, God, I, I'm surprised at the amount of people has watched the um, all of the Gauntlet videos. I'm going cohort and maybe Mog War Marshall pay but if I draw another one drop this will be easier uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna play this, gonna play the Jackal Familiar. Because I'm looking to pay the upkeep now. Three damage. Okay, I hope I don't draw any more lands. Witches will be such a showstopper here. That's okay. What? What? Nice! Uh, it can't attack alone, so, uh, well, it doesn't have to. And I will play the Echo, play a Bushwalker next turn. Okay, this time I have to win. This must be incredibly hard to come back from. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Well, I'll take it. I think keeping one landers with one black control is uh, rough. Very hard to come back from. Let's uh, play exactly like this. For all the marbles. You and me, Belcher Mage. What the hell? I play 21 lands. Can I keep a one lander here? So I play Teaching Peaks first turn, then I play Cohort, Founder Street, Denison. He keeps a seven. Now I'm going to keep it. I am on the draw. But I am scared. But I do have a deck with a ton of one drops. No witch. Ranch mind. Yeah, I think I got to throw away the expensive cards like uh, Bro Cohort and Heel Cutter. Because now I need these bolts to get past him. Cohort, Founder Street Denison. Maybe I overvalue the bolts here. Well, it's the bolts then. Ranch mine is super rough for me. But if he doesn't have a one mana removal spell here, we are gonna do some serious damage. Problem is that he still has four cards. Eight to the face! Mm. Okay, now I can't afford to draw anything but business. Just one Grey Merchant stops us dead. Uh, Shrivel kills two of my guys. Okay, now I should lose. Ten. No, this is not going to work. My keep played out pretty well. It was the double. Oh, that's a nice signing blood. But do you keep signing blood in the deck against goblins? 
I need to draw uh, the best card I could draw now is Validasher. No, I mean um, Hillcutter. Validasher would be quite sweet as well. Mm, keeping him close to the edge. And I'm of course gonna kill the witches if they block and use the ability. And then I do 5 damage and get him into bolt range. There is hope people. But the hope will be squashed next turn when Grey Merchant appears. And getting rid of the witches is of course really important here. Die witches, die! No! I didn't use it. Because he has a grey merchant. Hillcutter is game here. If he doesn't do anything. <laughs> but he didn't play a land la last turn, so he has four business cards. Tendrils is just incredibly bad for me. I'm not that unlikely. Hillcutter! No Hillcutter. Attack him! He could be stuck with like signing bloods. Rachel, he might play here. No. Intense. What's in your hand? Uh, that bleh. Grey Merchant. Okay, now I have to draw heal cutter. And I draw conscripts. Must attack. Not fun. Yeah, now we are dead. I think. Second Grey Merchant, not unlikely. Oh, sweet lord. Yeah. That is the end for the goblins. It's the first deck eliminated. And... Bushwhacker doesn't do anything here. You don't have to fear Bushwhacker here. I think keeping it in the hand is correct, but... Because if I play it, it will just be killed by witches. But do I have any outs here? Uh, doesn't look that way, does it? This is the death of goblins! Is it another Grey Merchant? <laughs> no, it's a Gurmagangler. Well... Yeah, I guess I have to live one more turn.
<laughs> yeah, that's the wrong order, but of course nothing matters. And I have to block Angler, he can just kill me anyway, so yeah. Do I get an extra turn? I do! Ah, I live! Maybe he wanted to sign in Blood Me to death. Haha! -ha. And Goblins has been eliminated from the Pauper Gauntlet in round 5. That's sad. Very sad. 34 decks remain. Thank you for watching and uh, thank you for playing Belcher Mage.